So the other day, excuse me, let me, okay. I had a lady walk in the other day. As a matter of fact, she opened the door to the office and I was sitting by the computer and her first remarks, and she'd been walking around the lot for a while. And I typically do not go out and greet people on the car lot. I let them browse. And so she walked in and she opened the door walked in. She said, do you want to sell a car today? And sarcastically. And I stood up and said, can I help you? And she said, yes. Yeah. said, I'd like to buy a car. And, and I says, well, you know, ma'am, I don't want to sell you a car. I'll help you buy a car. If you want to buy a car, uh, I'm not interested in selling a car at all. I am interested in getting your money. That's my only purpose in going out here and doing what I do. I'm, I'm after the money that I can make by offering cars. Now, if I can match you to a car that fits within your budget that you already know what is, I'd be more than happy to match you to a car. And if I can't, I wish you the best, uh, but I don't sell cars. And that's really the subject of this uh conversation now is uh, over 20 years ago, I stopped selling cars. I, I'm going to throw a plug in for uh, an author now by the name of Jeffrey uh, Gittimer. He wrote a book uh, called The Little Red Book of Selling. Uh, I read that book over 20 years ago, and I've probably read it a couple of times since then. Uh, but in that book, he said, people hate to be sold. And it's pretty common out there now. People hate to be sold, but people love to buy. And so that stuck with me. And since then, I have never sold another car. Now, I've built out hundreds of cars and I've collected thousands and even millions of dollars worth of money for cars, but I've never sold that first one in over 20 years. I've let people buy, I've let them match, I try to match them to the best car that I've got on my car lot to their budget. And that's what I do. So I, I really resent a lot being even termed a car salesman. As a matter of fact, the other night, uh, my son, most of you hear me talk about chain. And uh, I heard a uh, conversation going on with a gentleman who had really worked Shane's ass off. Uh, to, Shane was literally selling him a car. Uh, and, and this guy had to be sold. Uh, I, I would not have gotten this guy to, to buy a car from us. Uh, because I didn't like him. Uh, I didn't like his attitude. I didn't like his philosophy. Uh, and overhearing the conversation, there's nothing about this customer that matched my personality. Uh, my personality is fuck it. You know, if you do, if you don't, that gives me an opportunity here to say uh, about the people that talk about this channel. I get wonderful praises from some people. I get some other people that look back and, you know, call me some kind of idiot. I don't give a fuck whether anybody watches this channel or not. Uh, I, I, I do it to help people that are interested in what I've got to say. I don't make any money to speak of off this damn thing, maybe $100 a month. And I spend a lot more in video equipment and things to, to take that to people than I get. So... I get offended when people out here who don't have a, a, a horse in this race at all uh, speak up with their sarcasm, uh, like, you know, being a car salesman. Number one, I don't fucking sell cars, okay? Uh, I don't fucking make you watch this channel. If you want to watch this channel, watch this channel and learn. If you don't learn anything from it, move on to one you do learn from. But I'm not a pressure person that, that cares one day. I'm an informist. If I can inform you on the right car to buy, 
according to me, okay, I'm going to inform you. If I can inform you on starting a car lot and helping you develop profit into your car lot, I'm going to inform you. If you want to partner with me and work together where we both benefit, I'm going to inform you with my knowledge and we hopefully are going to form a good partnership. Now, first off, I have a lot of people that contact me about one-on-one -on -one consulting, uh, buying my time. My time is not for sale. And I don't mean to be arrogant. I'm just being factual here. I'm only interested in people that are interested in me helping them make money. You are never going to make a dime if you try to buy somebody else's experience. Now, if you partner with that person and give them a stake in the game, you're going to make money. But if you think you're going to get smart advice by buying a guy that's out here selling his advice is a fucking con artist. You know, it, it, it's just, uh, you know, there's people out here that say, oh, pay me for this great training and do this and do that. Buy my time. Uh, you know, that to me is just, it, 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 and that's just to me, that it doesn't make any sense. If a guy is so good at what he claims he's doing, why does he want to turn around and sell his time? My time is not for sale. If I partner with you, yes, maybe, but I don't sell anything. This is what I can do. And this is what, if you want to participate in what I say I can do, we will become partners and every dollar that I make you, I get 50% of it. It's that simple. I'm not selling you my time. Why would I want to go out here just like being a mechanic? If I was a mechanic, what in the hell would I be selling my time for $100 an hour for if I've got the ability to repair cars and, and make thousands? off of my repair instead of a lousy hundred dollars. So mechanics, sorry, uh, you, you know, go out and get in a car business. I mean, it, it's a no brainer, but anyway, that's your business. The, the next thing I, I want to say is, uh, is selling again today on the internet. You do not sell anything. Okay. The informed buyer out there and they are informed. They're looking up the what they call the market analysis of the car, uh, the value of the car. They can look up the codes. The way I sell a car is I have a scanner here. Bring your mechanic here. No, you're not carrying my car to your mechanic. That's not going to happen. You're not going to put my car at risk to satisfy your buying uh, curiosity. Bring your mechanic here, fine. I have scanners here for you, you, you to use. Don't trust me. I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm asking you to get up off your lazy ass and do your own due diligence. In the world, people love to blame. Nobody wants to accept the responsibility. They all want to blame. Now, this is a rant that I have. This morning is just a rant. We all want to blame somebody else for our lack of due diligence. That person lied to me. You know, I've never had a customer, never in that first year, in over 40 years of being in the car business, I've never had a customer that told me the truth. Okay. Not that first one has walked in here and told me the truth. They may have told me a version of the truth, but they always, typically what they're looking for, they don't buy. They always buy something else. Key word, they buy something else. Now they want to sell me on their idea of the car that they want, but typically they have always left and bought something different. Then they come in here telling me that they wanted to buy. Now, isn't that a lie according to some of you? A lie according to some of you is when you do something completely different 
than what you said you were going to do. So in theory, everybody in a car transaction, especially in a deal that is being negotiated, is a liar. Because during the negotiation process, you're going to say things. Now, you don't want to go out here if you're, you're putting out here that you're going to, this car is great. You don't know. It's a friggin' used car, okay? You put a scanner on it. You have your mechanic look at it. Right now, I ran out of gas last night, okay? I ran out of gas. Now, did my friggin' gas gauge lie to me? You know, it, it was in the red, and I tried to squeeze the last few miles out of a gas gauge that was, look, it's toward E, it's, it's leaving toward E. This was in one of my Jeep Wranglers. Now, can I go out here and sue Jeep for lying to me because the gas gauge indicated I still may have the last four or five miles in it. Come on, people, wake up. Accept the responsibility out there of doing your due diligence, not taking chances. Don't drive vehicles that are pointed toward E, okay? Don't trust your car salesperson. Don't trust your buyer. I don't trust a buyer any more than I would anybody else, okay? I don't trust priest. I don't trust, and I've had my share of uh, doing negotiations with them. Okay. I have literally had preachers. Okay. And I'm not saying that all preachers are bad. Like you shouldn't say that the majority of all car salesmen are bad, but I had preachers that would not purchase a car unless they could get it billed to their church so they could save tax. Even though they were going to drive it personally, it was going to be titled to them personally, not their church, but they wanted to take advantage of their church's tax benefits. Come on, people. When there's a negotiating process going on, the truth can be misconstrued by everybody. Okay? Lastly, I want to point out I had a lot of people that thought I was attacking Scotty Kilmer, okay? You boneheads, I wasn't attacking anybody. I watched Scotty Kilmer, okay? I, I value some of his experience, some of his ability, but he, Scott, I don't know everything Scotty Kilmer does, and I guarantee you, Scotty Kilmer doesn't know everything I do. Okay, I'm not a crook. Okay, I don't go out here selling cars. I don't sell anything. I'll take your damn money. Okay, I make no secrets about it. I'll take your money, but you're going to be buying everything you want to buy from me. I will not be selling you the first damn thing that I want to. I'm not selling you on the idea of watching this channel. I hope you do. I hope you learn something from it. If you watch it, fine. If you don't, I'm okay with that too. With that being said, have a wonderful day. Don't sell a damn thing. You're after the money. You don't want to sell cars. You're after the money. And don't be afraid to look your customer in the eye and tell them that's the only thing that you want from them. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Subscribe to, if you would like to, this channel.